this is going to be a fun class. Um, we're going to kind of go into more the sculptural uh, part of origami called tessellations, which is kind of cool. And, it, and so I'm going to show you the two different um, patterns that I'm going to teach today. Really cool. One is the herringbone. Isn't this cool? It's really awesome and very, very easy to do. Uh, this is from um, a six inch square uh, of taunt. And um, so this is the beginning of a, what we call a repeating series of patterns. So a taunt, uh, a tessellation. Um, the other thing I'm gonna show you is this cool thing. Um, so this is kind of an expansion of this technique to doing this where you can actually, you know, this is it here and you can roll it around and actually make kind of like a vase from it. This is also what I'm holding is from a six inch. So if you make it from a larger paper, you can, you know, there's an opening on top, you know, you go ahead and connect, connect the edges. And so then you have a nice little vase. It's kind of cool. So um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So let's start with this one here. What we want to do is we want to divide it up into eighths. Now, all of these have to be the same direction. So we're going to make, divide this into eighths, um, all valley folds on one side, okay? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna switch cameras. So now, um, it's just a matter of dividing this evenly. So we're gonna go ahead and fold it into half first. And again, the trick here is to be as accurate as you can be and make very crisp folds. Now, I've asked if you had, if you know, if you can bring, you know, or have your creasing tool. When you use your creasing tool here, like with any um, origami model, is you wanna make the initial crease with your hands first, like I did here. Then you take your creasing tool and then you go over. Preferably when you have a long edge like this, you want to start from the middle and go out. And then the same for the other side. This will make sure that this, the, the model doesn't shift on you because it could vary. If you go from one side to another, it's going to start, you know, it might end up being off on one end. So um, when you're doing these long folds, uh, after you do the initial fold with your hands, take your creasing tool and half and half go on either side like that. So now we're gonna open it up and now we're gonna bring both edges to the center, creating our second set of valley folds. So again, I'm making the fold with my hands, taking my creasing tool and working from the middle on out. If you don't have a creasing tool like this, go grab a, a, a round pen, a ballpoint, or you know sharpie or whatever and you can certainly use that to help with your creasing that'll make it nice and super flat which is great okay um, i'm going to rotate the model and then fold the other edge to the center and using my creasing tool to reinforce okay now that we have that we're going to unfold and so now we have to divide all of these. Okay, so let's start from the bottom here. We're gonna take this edge and fold it to the center or to this first fold line that you've created. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Nice fold, use your creasing tool, half and half, got it nice and flat. Unfold. Now, what we're going to do, so now we have to create a valley fold in this section here. And the way you do that is take this bottom edge and you bring it up to this top fold here. That will divide that section there. Okay. So fold it with your hands. Go ahead and do half and half. Unfold it. So now you've got these four smaller sections on this bottom half of the paper here, okay? Now let's rotate the paper, rotate the paper, and let's work on this end. So the first one is going to be this bottom edge goes up to this first fold line. 
Fold that. Use your creasing tool. Half and half. Nice and flat. Unfold that. And then now take this and you're going to bring it up to, it's the second fold here. This is that line. This is that, that quarter. Uh, it was the first when we did uh, broke it up into quarters. So this second fold is where you're going to bring this bottom edge up to like that. And then you fold. And this is going to complete your eight um, sections on this. So you should have eight sections here. I am going to mark my eight sections so you can see. I wanna make sure that you know what the orientation is of this model. Ah, we're turning this over. So this side is all valley folds, right? That's what we just did. So let's turn the model over. We need to turn it over. Now all these are mountain folds, right? And we're gonna start by folding a triangle. So let's go ahead and make one large diagonal going this way. Line up your points. Make sure you do have the correct side. So we did valley folds on one side and then now we're doing um, mountain fold or creating mountain folds on this side. Okay. So now that you have that, you're gonna unfold it. Let's take this bottom corner and you're gonna fold it up. You see the second section here? You're going to fold it up to that, right along that line there, creating a small triangle that's uh, a two column width. And I forgot to use my creasing tool on this. Go ahead and do that. And unfold. So now we've got that fold, we've got the big diagonal. And then now we're going to do have another double, which is actually it ends up being right in the center here. Okay. So we're going to bring that up, give that a nice crease. And let's go ahead and crease that. And unfold. And then now we've got one more to do. And this is actually, if you look at, you've got the two columns here. So this goes along this edge here. Okay. So make sure it's the second column over like that. So your folds should be like this. And let's go ahead now and rotate. So let's rotate the model and we're gonna work on this corner here. So we're just gonna duplicate what we did here. Let's start off with the bottom corner and that goes up to the second column here. Like that. Give it a good crease and unfold. The next fold comes right up to the center, right along that fold there. Now you may or may not notice you're off slightly. <clears throat> And that's okay, but the goal is to try to be as accurate as possible so that it lines up exactly on that line, that fold line. Okay, so give that a good fold, unfold. And then the final crease is, remember I said the two columns over, so it's right along this fold here. So it goes right up to that column. Make sure it's lined up real nicely.
and then use your creasing tool. So these folds should look like that. They should be evenly spaced. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite, these two corners. So what I do, let's go ahead and take the model. Let's rotate it so that now your folds go in this direction here. Okay, this is the bottom here. And we're gonna repeat. So we're gonna start by doing the whole diagonal. So let's go ahead and take the whole thing and make a diagonal. Line up your corners. Give that a good crease with your tool. Unfold that. Start with the bottom right corner that goes up to the second column here. Use your creasing tool. Unfold. The second, uh, the second step is to take this point and that goes to the center. And now we, we do this one. That's our next one. And then this next one is uh, you get the two sections over here, which is there. So I'm going to make sure it line that up. And And then now that we've done this half, we're going to rotate and do the other half. And let's rotate and work on this corner. So the bottom corner comes up to the second section. And then now we're taking the corner and we're going up to the middle. Oh, baby. Hello. Good morning. And then the final fold goes up to the second section down here. Yeah. Just like that. My lines aren't always exact, but at least now you should have a grid like this, which is pretty cool. Now you see the paper is going to start curling up on you. And that's great because now we're going to collapse because we've done all the folding. So if you look at your model and you've got your, your, line, your vertical lines, in this case, I'm, the way I'm holding it, it's vertical. Uh, this is the way you're going to wrap it. What you should do is reinf let's reinforce these, these valley folds here, okay? So we did the, the valley folds on this side, the diagonals, turn the model over and let's reinforce these, these valley folds going this way, okay? Give that a nice, just kind of reinforce that. Now the fun part. If you kind of squeeze the paper together, what's interesting is it's going to start collapsing. You see how the squares will start to collapse. Let's take this top edge here and let's push these triangles in. Let's get this thing started. Okay, so you're going to push the triangles in. So it should follow all of those, those pre creases that you just did. And then now, in this next row of these three squares, 
let's go ahead and just kind of push the paper together. And then you want to continue to do that. So it's a matter of you want to reinforce the crease, the valleys that go right through these squares here. So I'm kind of squeezing it, squeezing it from the outside. Uh, make sure that your outside edges, all these triangles get pushed in. Let's, let's, why don't we do that? Let's push them in on the sides here. And actually, if you roll it, it, it'll pop into shape like this. You see how that works? This, of course, will depend on the strength and crispness of your creases. If they're super, um, super crisp, they'll work really, really nice. You can certainly go back over and recrease, but they should really be nicely in place like this. And just use some tape on this side if you wanted to go ahead and keep it in this shape. But uh, that is our tower. And now we're going to do herringbone. All right, Mr. Herringbone. So go ahead and take another sheet of tot or six inch paper. Let's first divide it into quarters, okay? So let's take the bottom edge, bring it up to the top edge, let's fold it in half. And again, you want to try to be real accurate. Use your creasing tool. Like that. Open it up. Let's fold the top and bottom to the center. And don't go further than this. So fold both top and bottom edges to the center. Use your creasing tool. And unfold. Now we're going to turn the model over because we want to make the next set of folds uh, going the other direction. So let's turn it over. So flip it over. So these should all be valley folds, or mountain folds, excuse me, right? They're popping up. Let's take this bottom edge first and fold it to this first line here. Okay, use your creasing tool, make that a nice solid crease and unfold. Now we're going to take this next fold here and you want to pinch it together. So watch this, because it's a really super easy way to get this crease in here. You pinch it and then bring that edge to the center. Okay. And actually to use your bone folder, make sure that this flap is folded in like that. And then go ahead and run your creasing tool. Otherwise we're gonna unfold that, which we don't want. Okay. Let's rotate the model and the repeat. So this bottom edge comes up to the first crease. And then now we're going to pinch it at that next fold, which is a mountain fold. Pinch that and now bring that to the center. Okay, all right. And now we're gonna do one more thing. Let's take the model, turn it over, and then fold the whole thing in half. So we're just changing that direction. So basically what we have is accordion, right? So it should look just like this. So now let's go ahead and gather the paper together. You probably still have it gathered together. And then now it's just a matter of making some right angle pre-creases on this. It doesn't really matter if the open end, like you see how I have it, the open end is facing up. 
Um, you can do, let's do it so that the open end is facing down, okay? So you want your, to orient your stack of, of folds here so that the open end is facing down. We're going to make an initial diagonal crease. Basically, a diagonal crease is going to be basically a right angle. And you could totally eyeball this thing. We're going to take this on the left-hand side, and we're just going to make a valley fold at a right angle going up like this. Okay, so that this should be a right angle. Um, right angle, that's right, yeah, like that. And now here, you got to give it a really good crease in both directions. So after you crease this side here, you're going to unfold it and then make a mountain fold. So you're going to reinforce the crease. So reverse the direction of that. So like this, and then give that a really good strong crease. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and let's bring it back forward and let's re reinforce it this way. So now we're back to where we started here. Okay. We're going to make a zigzag. So this one goes up this way. So the next fold is actually gonna to come towards us like this, okay? So have your model, make sure it's oriented this way. Make sure that you know the, the, the open end is facing you and we've reversed the direction so that now it's here on the top. Take the rest of the model and now we're gonna fold it down. And it's okay if you leave a little space here uh, to make a really super tight uh, herringbone, it would go right up to that edge. But for the purposes of what we're doing today, a little space is fine. I think it's a little bit easier for you to manage too. So you're folding it, giving it a good crease. You want to unfold it, fold it back the other way. Give that a super strong crease. And then let's bring it back forward so that we've really made a nice um, dent in that paper. The next fold is gonna come out. Remember I was saying zigzag, right? So this goes up. Now this one is, that one went down. So now this one's gonna go up. So be mindful that it's a, it's, you know, right angles to the, to the, to the strip this way, right? So it should look like this, okay? So give that a good strong crease. Unfold, fold it back. You unfold it, rotate it back, reinforce that crease, unfold that and bring it forward again where we started. So you should end up with this. It should look like this. Okay. So the next step is to take the top and we're gonna go come down. So here's our zigzag, okay? So you see how that's working. This should be pretty even here. And this is creating a right angle or you can see the triangle here. So we're gonna fold it down, give it a good crease, unfold it, fold it back the other way. Give that a good strong crease, unfold and bring it back forward. Let's give it a third crease. So now it should look like this. And we're gonna do one more zigzag. So the remainder paper, remainder of the model, you wanna go ahead and fold it up. So it should look like a, a W with an extra thing on the in, in the middle. Give that a good strong crease. Unfold it, fold it back along that same line, reinforce that, unfold it, and bring it forward, and the final crease. <clears throat> There's a lot of layers of paper there, so, uh, okay. So this is what you should have. Now we get to open it up. So let's go ahead and unfold our zigzag, and let's open up the layers of paper. So we're gonna open, peel it open.
Okay, you see the herringbone? Okay, there's a really cool way to collapse this to this. When you look at the herringbone, you'll see it goes from a mountain fold to a valley fold to a mountain fold to a valley fold to a mountain fold. And in order to do that, you're changing the direction of these vertical folds. And this way, it, it's super, super easy. So watch this. I am going to flip it over to this side here so that my first set of folds, you'll see it's, this is a valley and this is a mountain fold, right? Valley and mountain fold. So this here, these are all mountain folds looking on this side. If you pinch this and you push it here, this will start to this will start to be identified, but you have to worry about the rest of this paper. This stays into a mountain fold, but we have to change the direction of this fold. And so what you do, I'm going to just rotate it because I'm right-handed. It's a little bit easier for me to do this you're going to reverse the direction of this. You're gonna change it from mountain fold into a valley fold. Super easy. You're just gonna take this section and you're gonna fold it up, creating a valley fold. This next fold will turn into a mountain fold. So let's do this part here, create a valley fold, turn this into a mountain fold. And then as you walk the paper in, let's see, this goes, this goes. By changing the direction here, and the closer you get to this, this will identify this edge here. So you just push that in, okay? Now, if you, for this next section here, I kind of push this up to start getting this thing going. Basically, you're just reinforcing these directions don't change here. But now we're, it's a matter of reversing the directions here. So we're going to change this into a valley fold. So you're going to bring that forward. And as you do that, so you have to do it two folds at a time. So we're changing this to valley fold, and then we're changing this into mountain fold. And as you do that, you bring it up and you see how this starts to present itself. Okay. Push the next layer of paper in like this. Now we're changing the direction of this fold. This turns into a valley fold. And then the next one is a mountain fold. Keep pinching the paper together you'll end up pushing this part out. And what happens is here, I forgot to mention, you're gonna change the direction of half of one of these into a mountain fold, you'll see. But it's easy to do because you have the pre-crease there. When you do this here and you pinch it, it will give you the opportunity to, to pinch this and create, change that direction here, okay? And then the final one, it's just basically you're, making a valley fold on this last section here. Okay, so it should look like this. You lost me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to start. Let me change the directions of my folds. Back this way. All right. Do you change the directions all the way down? Okay. So, yeah. So, um, your, let's change, make sure that all of your, these vertical folds are all mountain folds. Now let's start there. 
Okay, so make sure they're all mounted. Okay. Let's take this first row of points. Currently, these should be, some of them are mountains or half is mountain and half is valley. And what we wanna do first off is take, so these are mountain folds, right? So if you pinch it, you can push and you pinch the paper on this side to get you started. You're creating, I'm sorry, take, I take that back. You're pinching it so that this turns into a valley fold. So as you pinch it and push it in, this happens, okay? So this should be a valley fold. We're changing all of this, these into valley folds. These are mountain folds. This is a valley. And the way you do that is you pinch the mountain fold here, and then that will create your valley fold here. But what also helps is if you take this here, you have to change it. Currently, it's a mountain fold. You want to change it to a valley fold. So on this half, so we're going to leave this side for a second, go to this half. So bring this forward so that now you've created a valley fold, okay? You wanna change that to a valley fold. This is a mountain fold still. So you wanna go ahead and make pinch that together. When you do that, and as you walk the paper up, pinch, pinch, pinch. So you see, I have this. So this should be a valley, this should be a mountain. As you pinch it, this is gonna reinforce, so it'll start to go in like this, right? So it's reversing the direction of this that will help you finish that point there. And now it's a matter of continuing, reverse the direction of this next fold, by making that into a valley fold. So this whole section here, it's you turn it into a valley, mountain, valley, mountain. If you want to go ahead and kind of do it like that now, that will help you. And then, and so what you're doing basically is as you reverse the direction of these folds here, when you get to this side, so you see how I pinch it this puts it in place. And so now you have that, that pleat happening. It comes up like this, okay? So next one, you wanna change that valley mountain, bring that together. And when you come to the end, it'll start to just pop into place. It'll start to collapse just like that. And you be, you'll be able to pinch it from underneath to create that intersection there. Valley mountain. It really makes a difference to you. Use a taunt, huh? Yes. And then the final one that comes up, valley fold. And it should all collapse like that, right? It should look like that from the side. So now when we do the next zigzag, it's a matter of reversing the direction of these folds again. Now this is really cool. So watch me for this first one. Currently, this is a valley fold and this is a mountain fold, right? I'm gonna change that into a mountain fold and change this one to a valley fold. So I pinch it into a mountain fold and then I reverse it to a valley fold. When I do that, you continue your mountain fold to the next zigzag. And you see how that pops up like that? Continue going down, reversing the direction of the folds. 
So it might help you to spread the paper out a little bit on the bottom. So we're going to go change the next one to a mountain fold, then change to a valley fold. Pinch the mountain fold out and it will get you this point here. So kind of give everything a little pinch there. What you're going to find is on this end here, you need to push this out to get the next layer of the zigzag to present itself. So we're continuing doing the next mountain fold, valley fold. Here's the mountain, pinch, pinch, pinch. You've got this articulated. And then valley fold, the final mountain fold. So it's two folds at a time. You have to do valley mountain, valley mountain, okay? And as you pinch the mountain, you see that identifies itself. And then to lock it in place, just bring everything together and pinch it, right? It's like that. We're gonna do the same thing for the next row. So spread the paper out here and probably you'll find it easier if we just go ahead and let's reverse the directions here and hold and kind of stack it together. So currently this is a mountain. So we're gonna change that to a valley and a mountain. Valley, mountain, let's just kind of do the end there. Okay. Now, here's your next row here. And it, it should kind of all, if you push it down, it's all identified there. So you, you go ahead and let's go ahead and do the, the valley mountain. As you pinch the mountain, you see how that pops into place there? and continue. Valley mountain, pinch your mountain. See, it starts to all kind of come into place. Valley mountain. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a mountain fold. Mountain, and you see this already pops into place here mountain, valley, and you'll find that you'll have to push it under from underneath here to make this happen. So we've got valley, we're turning it into a mountain, pinch the mountain over and then that will get you this point here. You got another valley and mountain. Okay, valley and mountain. And then once you have that, bring everything together, give it a good crease. And then there's your pattern. And then we've got one more row to go. And it's just a matter of pushing because we have to create this in, it change this from mountain to valley. So as you pinch it, then you have to do the next mountain, right? So here's a valley mountain. Valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And you'll find if, if you push it down on those points, it'll all pop into place. then give it a good crease. And that is your herringbone.